Good day, everyone! Hi, Miss Pearl. Hello, guys. I'm Shane Carlon, your student nurse from Central Scholar University, Manila, BSN 1E. Today, I will be demonstrating how to tipid sponge bath. But first, what is tipid sponge bath? So, tipid sponge bath is done to lower body temperature of the patient to its normal body range by wiping the patient body with washcloth or sponge. Remember that the tipid water consists of cold water and boiling water to produce warm water. Hello, Mom. Can I come in? Yes, nurse. Good morning. I'm Shinker Lon and I'm going to be your aid today. So, I'm here because I'm going to do a tepid sponge bath to reduce your body temperature. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Okay. May I know your name? Maria Valentina. And when is your birthday? October 2005. Okay. So, before we start, I will read a chart. In here, a doctor's order that you should need a tepid sponge bath. And I want you to sign this. Thank you. So, ma'am, I will be back. I'm just gonna do hand washing and prepare the things that we will need. Okay? Back, mom. So what we will need in this demonstration are six wash cut, patient gown, this is not the actual gown, towel, bath blanket, Rubber sheet. In this case, I'm just gonna use a yoga mat. For children, use bed protector. Basin. Just use a small basin, not like this one. Water container with tepid water. Bath and patient thermometer. So, let's just assume that this is our thermometer for this demonstration. Lastly, cleaning gloves. So, let's begin. First, close curtain, door, and turn off air condition. Next, raise patient bed into appropriate working height and raise side rail for patient comfortability. So, Laila, can I ask you to remove your jacket? Yes, nurse. Okay. So, take note of this. Many people thought that if you have a high body temperature, you will need to cover yourself with heavy clothing. But that's just not the case. Thank you. Now, let's just take our patient temperature. So, let's just assume that this is a digital thermometer. So, it will beep in about 30 seconds. So, okay. Then, record our data. Remove that top sheet with um, I'm sorry. Replace top sheet with Bath blanket. Mom, hold this hot. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the other way around pala. So this, hold this hat. A 
assist patient to remove gum. Next, pour tepid water into our basin. Then check our water temperature. Okay. So next, soak clots. Then squeeze it after to avoid dripping. And place it into our patient forehead. Each auxilia. And dry. So, Mama, are you feeling comfortable? Yes, sir. So, next, um, check this every five minutes, and you may soak and replace if needed. So, we'll do this for twenty to thirty minutes, and repeat the process if necessary. Yeah. Next. We're going to place a towel across my patient's chest. Mom, can you move this? Then I will turn my patient into lateral position. Next, we're going to sponge our patient upper extremity for five minutes. Do the other side also. After that, we will reassess our patient temperature. back and buttocks area for about 5 to 10 minutes. Hey mom, can you, I will turn you into 
Continuous sponging the lower extremities, back and buttocks area for about for another three to five minutes. So, so ankle to knees, then knees to thigh. Do it the other side also. Continue this procedure until patient body temperature slightly above normal. Next, with the remaining blood, pat dry the, pa the patient. Pat dry the patient thoroughly to avoid chills. That's it. Lastly, remove your gloves. And wash our hands. So, this is how we do the tepid sponge bath. So, that's it. I hope you enjoy my video, guys. And together, we learn something.